Huge news for 3D graphics. Epic Games has just launched Fab, a brand new marketplace for creators to buy and sell 3D objects. And to celebrate this release, the entirety of the Megascans asset library is free for all 3D programs up to the end of this year. That means whether you are using Blender, Maya, Unity, or any 3D software, you now have an opportunity to get 14,000 amazing assets scanned from real life that can elevate your artwork. They make environment creation significantly easier. Having access to a large 3D library makes world creation feel more like building with Legos, where each object is a piece we can use. If you have thought about getting into any 3D program, these assets are a must have. If you get the assets from now to the end of the year, you can keep them forever. So in this video, I will show you how to do that and why the Fab Marketplace is a huge deal for us 3D creators. Keep in mind that when 2025 starts, Megascans will no longer be free even for Unreal users. Each asset will cost a dollar. So make sure to get them right now to make sure you have access to them in Fab. So in order to grab all the Megascan assets, create an Epic Games account. On the Fab website, there's a link in the description. There's this Claim Now button to get all the Megascan assets for free. Select it and then claim the free Megascans. You do not have to download these assets to get them. All you have to do is add the asset to your library. Now it is yours and it will remain yours going into the future. If you're wondering why Megascans will no longer be free for Unreal users, I explained Epic Games' reasoning in the previous video on the channel. Also, another promotional for Fab is that if you purchase something for $25 or more, you can get six months free of Substance Painter and Substance Modeler. In case you do not know, Substance Painter is the most popular software to create textures and materials for 3D objects. The program is used everywhere. If you have ever played a video game in the past couple of years, Odds are most of the assets were textured using Substance. Substance Modeler is a new program that lets you create and sculpt objects without polygons. So it can be easier to create 3D models than other programs. It is using the same technology that powered the PlayStation game called Dreams. When you are modeling, it feels less technical and more like you are sculpting with clay. Getting these two programs for six months is a nice bonus. After purchasing $25 or more under news, Press the Explore Now button. We can now get a code that we can put into our Adobe accounts, which will give us six months of Substance Painter and Modeler. Now let's take a deep dive into what Fab is and why it was created. Over the past five years, Epic Games has acquired Megascans, a library of scanned objects, Sketchfab, a platform where people can view and sell 3D objects, and ArtStation, which is one of the largest marketplaces for digital creators. Of course, Epic also has the Unreal Marketplace, which has been the primary place we get on real assets. Now Epic Games is combining all of their marketplaces into a single platform called Fab. If you have tried to find 3D objects in the past, you know how hard it is. You have to scour the internet and search on multiple different marketplaces. Now all the assets you need to create 3D worlds is in one place. And Fab is an open platform, which means that if you are a creator, you can start selling on Fab and Epic Games only takes 12% of the revenue which is a lot better than other 3D marketplaces. So you keep 88%. Not only can you buy and sell assets, there are thousands of free objects already uploaded by the community you can start using right now. For example, if I want a table, I can just type in table and then filter for 3D models and only look at the free ones. So now we have a bunch of different objects I can use immediately. And we can use these filters to get a specific asset. For example, if I don't want any assets that use AI, then enable that, or you can look for objects compatible with your specific software. So under formats, let's see what tables are compatible with Blender. And a large portion of these objects allow us to inspect them in the internet browser. So we can see if an asset is right for us before purchasing, downloading, and importing them into our program, saving us a lot of time. Soon, Fab is releasing directly in Unreal Engine. So we don't have to use a web browser. We can buy and download all of our assets directly in Unreal. All you have to do is open up Fab, look up the asset that you want in your library. In my case, it will be a wooden barrel. Find an asset that you like and simply drag it into your world. Unreal will automatically download that asset and place it in your environment. It will generate all the materials and textures needed. Here we have the object ready to be used in Unreal. It is that easy to get 3D objects now. Fab plugins for other 3D programs are most likely being worked on, and support for Roblox and Minecraft assets are coming at a later date. I'm very curious to see how the Fab Marketplace will handle those 3D programs. The Unreal Marketplace has already completely switched over to Fab. 
If you bought an asset in the marketplace, you will find it in FAB. Megascan's bridge, which is where we used to get Megascan assets, will no longer exist soon. All of the current and future Megascans will be in FAB. Sketchfab and ArtStation will still exist as separate platforms. So ArtStation will still be used as a 3D industry's main portfolio site. You can think of it as Instagram, but for professional artists. And you can still upload and view 3D models in Sketchfab if you want to show off something cool you made. Sketchfab is like YouTube, but instead of viewing videos, you interact with 3D art. For fun, I like to browse Sketchfab and see the cool creations people have made. Just their marketplaces will move over to Fab. Sketchfab has already moved over and the ArtStation marketplace is planned for next year. Let me know what you think about Fab in the comment sections. Also, if you want to learn Unreal Engine, I have a complete beginner tutorial here on the YouTube channel. There's a link to it in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Unreal news and tutorials. I will see you next time.